What is the difference between asylum and subsidiary protection? Asylum procedure is the general procedure administered by the Slovak Migration Office, where they will assess whether you have reasons to be granted international protection. In general, international protection is granted to foreigners who have lost protection from their own country and they cannot or do not want to return to their country of origin due to the risk of persecution or serious harm. We recognize two types of international protection in Slovakia, asylum, which is granted for an indefinite period of time, and temporary subsidiary protection, which is granted for one year when it is granted for the first time. If reasons for providing subsidiary protection persist beyond one year, the temporary subsidiary protection may be prolonged for another two years. It is important to distinguish between the two types of protection to determine which type of protection you may be qualified for. You may be granted asylum if you have a well-founded fear of persecution in your country of origin, and due to this fear, you cannot or do not want to return to your country of origin. Note that not all types of threats or inconveniences you face in your country of origin will be recognized as valid reasons for granting asylum. The asylum protects only those who have been harmed in their country of origin for particularly despicable reasons. These may include racial, ethnic, religious, political opinion, or for being a member of a particular social group. It may also be an act specifically targeting vulnerable persons of certain gender or age group. The Slovak Republic also grants asylum for humanitarian reasons. However, if you fail to fulfill the conditions to be granted asylum protection, what about the conditions for granting subsidiary protection? In general, you may be granted temporary subsidiary protection if you cannot return to your country of origin because you're at risk of serious harm. Subsidiary protection, in principle, will protect civilians who have fled from armed violence in their country of origin. It may also be granted to those who fear execution, torture, or other inhumane treatment in their country of origin, but have failed to show any particular despicable reason required for granting asylum 